Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am here with my May 2018 Scoopable Tarte Wax Haul. Um, this was a pretty small restock for me because um, last month I ordered quite a bit. Um, this month I tried to tone it down. I wound up with I think 13 uh, jars and then I ordered a mystery box and each mystery box has six jars. It comes to $21 for six jars which comes to $3.50 per jar. So it's $2 cheaper per jar than the regular price. And so it's a really good deal, um, but you don't know what you're gonna get. So if you're very picky on scents, it may not be for you. I only have a very small amount of scents I can't handle. Um, I am willing to try almost anything once. Um, like the only things I really can't do is overly masculine because it gives me a headache and dirt <laughs> and um, heavy, heavy floral. Um, unless I can tone it down with pink sugar or something, you know, I can't do it. So there's not that many scents I can't do. So <coughs> I'm going to just actually just start right in. I'm going to start with the things that I... Um, my, the regular stuff I bought, then I'll go with the mystery box. Um, and she, one, a couple things I want to know on about her is, um, the owner's name is Kathy. She is the, uh, mother of Jenny from Rose Girls. She actually started Rose Girls and then, um, she passed it down to Jenny and then she started Scoopable Tart Wax. She is retiring in the fall, I believe November's her last restock. Um, and that's why this was the only vendor I'm willing to buy from on my ban was because my ban is up in October and October, November restocks is going to be slim pickings. It's going to be basically what's left because she's not ordering more supplies. Um, so I wanted to order while there was still some good stock and variety left because come October, basically she said November and October is going to be what's left, which, you know, at the rate she's pouring and everything, um, probably won't be as much variety. Um, so I may still order depending on what's left, but I think the heavy hitters and the good popular stuff will go in the next few months. So I want to take part in that because her stuff does last a long time. I have been melting some scoopables from 2016 that are still throwing very strongly. Um, and so as long as they're stored in the jars with the lids on them, they should be fine. Um, Another point is that um, she does offer free shipping over $50. So all you have to buy is 10 jars and you get free shipping. And she does combine shipping if you order within the same day. So say her restock was Friday. Say you went in on restock time and you ordered 10 jars. Um, then say you went in a couple hours later and found five more you wanted. You will pay the, the $9.95 shipping for that second set of five but when she packs them up she refunds that um as long as the, it, the orders are placed in the same day if you place an order friday or, or saturday you're gonna have to just eat that second cost of shipping so it's worth it to make sure you go back in and if you place any more orders it's worth it to place them the same day because she does refund the shipping it does not matter if you place five six orders there's one restock i think i placed four orders and i got a refund for three of them um, for the shipping. So, um, you know, as long as you order in the same day, you get that extra, extra shipping cost refunded. As long as you are at the 10, you know, the 10 jar minimum. Um, if you're under 10 jars, then you have to pay the shipping in a oh well. Um, for me, 10 jars is very reasonable. That's only $55. So that's very doable for me. I, I, I like spending my money with vendors who offer free shipping or a low shipping cost or that do combined shipping. It's, you know, it, it, it gives me more bang for my buck. So I'm gonna jump right in. The first thing I got is Peeps Cake and I did get two of these. And this is yellow cake, fluffy, rich vanilla frosting, and sugar-covered marshmallows. Make this a decadent treat for your nose. This I bought primarily as a blender. I have several. Um, I have a bunch of Rose Girls Mini Melters, and a lot of them call for Peeps Cake. So I figured I could just throw a tiny scoop of Peeps Cake in with whatever I'm going to be blending. 
The next thing I got is Jelly Donut Fluff Puffs, and it's Jelly Donut Monster Cookie Marshmallow Smoothie. This is absolutely amazing. This is heavier on the jelly donut, and then I get that cookie note. It is really nice. Just a very, very nice jelly bakery. The next thing I got is strawberry sandwich cookies, and this is strawberry jam spread on cookie dough and frosted with strawberry buttercream. This is amazing. I love her strawberry. Her strawberry is amazing. And this is just a nice strawberry bakery. The next thing I got is strawberry mallow bread, which is baked zucchini bread, marshmallow smoothie, and strawberry jam. And this is really good. This is heavier on the strawberry jam, and you get that zucchini bread. It's not, her zucchini bread is nice and sweet. It is nice and creamy. It is not a spicy one. Then I wound up getting two of the frosted strawberry lemonade, which is strawberry jam, lemonade, and cotton candy frosting. And this one's amazing. I love strawberry lemonade blends. And that cotton candy frosting just sweetens it up. Then I got some vanilla crunch donuts. This is a great blending scent. It reminds you of being in a bakery shop with lots of sweet donuts and bakery treats. And this is, this is very, very sweet. Um, I love vanilla crunch donuts. I like it by itself and I also like it as blender. Then I picked up a clean cotton. I picked this up for my husband mostly. Um, he loves clean cotton. He said this smells so close to Yankee. Um, he is a very big clean cotton fan. Then I picked up a blackberry frosted waffle cone, which is blackberry waffle cone cotton candy frosting. I was going to pick up more than one of this, but then I remembered I had blackberry jam butter cookies, waffle cone, and cotton candy frosting in mini melters and decided to save my money since I have mini melters. And although it's going to smell different with the blackberry jam butter cookies, it's still going to be good because the Waffle Cone's Bakery, too. But this is really good. I love her blackberry. The next thing I got is stuffed strawberry wafers. And it's strawberry jam, vanilla wafers, and cream cheese frosting. <coughs> this is really, really good, too. I get, the, I get the strawberry jam and the vanilla wafers. The next thing I got is strawberry cream soda, which is strawberry blended with cream soda. And this is really nice. I mostly get that, just that strawberry. And the last thing from my regular melts is marshmallow whip. And this is marshmallow bomb, marshmallow smoothie, and toasted marshmallow. I figured this would be really good for blending. It's just, you know, something that needs to be sweetened up. That would be really good. So now on to my mystery box. The first thing I have is Wild Berry Sugar Rush, and this is Wild Berry blended with various candy scents. This one is probably my least favorite of the bunch because of the candy, um, but I'm still going to try it and see how it is. The next one is Lunar Eclipse Tea and Cakes, which is Lunar Eclipse and Tea and Cakes. I don't know what Lunar Eclipse is, but it smells amazing. It's really good. It's nice and fresh, and I'm really excited for that. Probably, nah, this isn't my favorite, but it's close to it. Um, one, of my, one of my favorites, Lavender Spearmint Marshmallow. I did pick this up in the last restock last month because it's absolutely amazing. Her lavender and spearmint together is just really good. This one I'm saving for fall, and it's going to be amazing. Pecan Buttered Pretzels, a yummy blend of pecan, pumpkin waffles, and our pretzel scent. Secret pretzel scent. And this smells primarily like uh, pumpkin pecan waffles, so I'm going to save that for about October-ish. The next one's Kiss the Girl, which is pink sugar, fresh picked strawberry, blackberry, and bay. And this is good. It's different, but I, 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 I really like it. And the last one, and this one was another favorite, it's Dunk My Donut Noel, which is Dunk My Donut and Vanilla Bean Noel type. And this is so, so good. So, yeah, that is everything. That is my, my haul. Um, I kept it. I tried to keep it decent priced this month because I went a tad overboard last month where I ordered like 20-something and then I ordered like 
12 more than when I got them. And so I went on the site after I got these yesterday. Luckily, nothing I wanted is still on the site. So it's good. Um, you know, I, I'm able to wait till June. I don't need, to, I don't need any wax. Um, but I feel like l allowing myself to buy from this one vendor has helped me keep my uh, ban at bay with everybody else. Um, so yeah, it's, 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 it has helped, but, um, you know, and now that I've extended my ban because we're going to Florida next year and we're going to need all of our money for that. Um, I've been really focusing on trying to melt up my older wax that way, you know, I don't have anything left from like 2016 hanging around that stuff I'm, I'm working on getting, uh, finished up so I can start on my 2017 wax and the way I'm I have it planned is the majority of my 2017 wax I will be melting later this year early next year and then my 2018 wax because I have been I, I have bought a lot I bought till the end of March from everybody so the way I have things rotating is I'm finishing up my 2016 wax now I don't have a lot from 2016 um, I just have a few things then I'm going to work into 2017 uh, after the 2016 is over. And then next year I'll be working on this year's stuff. So um, that way when we're done with our vacation, I'll be able to buy, you know, wax again. Um, so anyway, so that's just a little rambling <laughs> of what I'm doing. So um, I can't wait to see everybody else's orders from Scuba Bowl Tar Wax. I love her stuff. So... I mean, I love Rose Girl's stuff and it's her mama, so it's got to be just as good quality. So, and it is, it throws amazingly for me. And I get several melts out of a four ounce jar. I get probably at least six melts out of a four ounce jar. I don't melt an ounce at a time. I just put a scoop in and go. Um, so anyways, that is it. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.